Alright, so we're gonna continue our discussion here and we're gonna move on sa new lesson or new topics dito sa ating CCNA Masterclass. At ang pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon is yung tinatawag natin na virtual private network or yung tinatawag natin na VPN. So ang goal natin for this section is to really understand the fundamentals or the, the basic concepts ng tinatawag natin na VPN as well as yung different types or common types of VPN na makakasalamuhan natin in in our CCNA career. And then of course, we're gonna do some basic configuration ng VPN para makita natin how we are going to deploy a basic configuration and how we are going to implement. Okay? So, are you ready for this? Let's go ahead and do this. Right? So, VPN or Virtual Private Network. So, ngayong uh, inatake tayo ng pandemic or ngayong nagkaroon ng pandemic, sikat na sikat yung tinatawag nating VPN kasi most of the employees right now are working from home. Right? So, karamihan sa atin are working from home for more than a year na. Well, before it happens, usually yung ibang company naman nag employ or meron na talagang policy ng working from home. So, basically, uh, they are allowing a certain employee, for example, na sa bahay lang magtrabaho gamit yung company laptop. And then, on that laptop, meron silang naka-install na tinatawag nating VPN client software. For example, Cisco AnyConnect. And um, ang gagawin lang nila is they pull up lang nila yung, yung software na yon yung VPN software na yon For example, na Cisco AnyConnect and then ilalagin lang nila doon. And then eventually, makakakonect na sila with uh, the company's private network. So ang nangyayari is na-access mo na yung mga uh, file server or applications or folders na kadalasan na-access mo lang kung nasa opisina ka. Diba? So, ang nangyayari is yung laptop or, or device mo is basically connecting through your organization's network. So, uh, ang tinatawag natin na VPN is basically, inga, it uses public connections in order for us to reach or connect to a private enterprise or private network connection. So, parang ang nangyayari is you're here, this is public, and then it goes through a certain tunnel. Mamaya, mapakita ko kayo ng mas magandang scenario. And then, for example, this is your uh, corporate office. And then inside that, you were able to build a secure connection. Encrypted yon. Ibig sabihin, even if someone tries to sniff the packet, hindi nila yun mababasa kasi nga, or hindi nila yun mahahack. Or for example, hindi nila ma... What do you call this? ma de decrypt kasi that's are encrypted. Okay? Now, um, VPN or Virtual Private Networks allows it can be uh, one site to another site. For example, nga yung branch office connecting to the main office, yung office mismo ha, what we call um, site-to-site VPN. We're gonna talk about the different types in the, in the next video pero there are two common types. So, yung site-to-site, -site, which is you're, you're connecting a, a site, for example, a branch, and then to another site, or for example, your headquarters or main office, via public connections, and then you are creating a tunnel that encrypt the data that goes through the VPN, in short. Diba? Or we can have a remote access VPN wherein, yun nga, katulad na nabanggit ko kanina, yung, yung mga users naman, ang binibigyan natin ng ng virtual private connections para makakonect even though nandun lang sila sa bahay nila which uh, mostly happening today during the pandemic. Diba? So, minsan ba, for example, you're working right now from home. Naisip mo ba kung bakit, kung paano nangyayari na, for example, meron kang uh, laptop na provided ng company. Okay naman, kahit sarili mong laptop if they are providing you a VPN software, for example, pagka uh, hindi ka nakakonect dun sa VPN, hindi mo na-access yung mga folders or programs or files na supposedly dapat sa company lang. Diba? Now, if you use or if you log into your VPN software, for example, yung Cisco AnyConnect, na-access mo na parang nandun ka lang din sa opisina. So, that's the basically the, 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 the power of VPN. Meaning, um, it allows your normal internet connection to connect to your company or corporate office via secured tunnel na tinatawag. So, ang nangyayari is, nagkakaroon ng virtual tunnel on those endpoints, for example, on your device through a VPN server or VPN concentrator natin na tinatawag and then it encrypts the connection. Does that make sense? Good. Okay, so here's a simple analogy or diagram kung saan 
uh, makikita mo, it's also the one that we have on the CCNA Fundamentals ebook. So, as you can see here, we are showing the two different types or two common types of VPN, which is what we call side-to-side -side VPN and then remote access VPN. So, let's, uh, we're gonna dig deeper with these two types in the next video. Pero for now, here's the basic concept. Okay, so kapag side-to-side, -side, we are connecting one site, for example, this branch into the corporate office. Pero, wala tayong lease lines or wala tayong wide area network, for example, or yung mga T1 or kaya naman Metro Ethernet and so on and so forth. Wala tayong ganun. What we use is a normal um, DSL, for example, or normal internet connection. Ang nangyayari lang is we do have a uh, configure or we do configure a, a virtual tunnel, katulad nga naman nabangit ko kanina, so that we can connect this network um, to, the, to the network that we have in our corporate that passes through the public internet into an encrypted tunnel. So, anong nangyayari, meron tayong VPN concentrator or VPN device dun sa corporate natin which are, kumbaga, decrypting the traffic uh, from the site into the corporate. Does that make sense? So, this one, kumbaga, many to many. Or... Uh, kasi you can, uh, for example, ang network mo dito sa branch na to ay 10.10.10.0 slash 16. And then you are connecting to your network with, uh, ibig sabihin lahat ng mga devices dun sa site na yun will be able to connect to your corporate network through the, the VPN tunnel. Make sense? Now, ang kaibahan niya with remote access VPN is it's just a piece of software intended for uh, an employee or a single user working from his home or from anywhere na merong internet connection. So it just uses a normal, again, normal home internet connection. And then what it does, it's, it's ganun din. It authenticates through the VPN concentrator or VPN device natin, usually a firewall, for example. And um, it creates a virtual tunnel then from that user, for example, here, that uses a normal internet connection. And then uh, ganun din, makakakonek din siya sa mga resources or um, f uh, programs or files na meron dun sa corporate nila even though nasa bahay lang siya and ginagamit niya lang is yung normal na PLDT or Converge or Globe connection niya. So, ang nangyari nga, for example, is meron siyang program na ginagamit to authenticate or to create that tunnel. Mamaya, we're gonna discuss that dun sa types of VPN. Pero in, in high-level overview, this is how virtual private network works. Okay, so what happens is we, we use a, a normal public connection which is commonly the internet and then inside that we create a virtual tunnel kung saan doon natin ini-encrypt or doon natin pinapadaan yung traffic natin. Think of it like this. Diba? So let's say for example you're on North EDSA, SM North. Okay, SM North. Ito yung SM North. And then you want to go to MOA. Okay, so sa Pasay. Now let's take for example... Ang, ang public natin is yung, or public connections natin or internet connections natin is the EDSA itself. Di ba? So, lahat ng mga pampublik mong sasakyan, even though the MRT, then din dumadaan, di ba? Nasa taas nga lang. So, um, kumbaga, yung mga normal traffic or normal na sasakyan, for example, in this case, is, uh, this is MOA, this is North, for example, dun dumadaan. Now, if you want to, for example, create a tunnel, Diba? Let's say, gagawa tayo ng tunnel sa ilalim ng kalsada mismo ng EDSA. Diba? Sa ilalim mismo ng kalsada ng EDSA. And then, dun dadaan yung sasakyan natin. For example, ito yung sasakyan natin. Tayo lang ang nakakadaan. Diba? So, from our, uh, sabihin natin, from north, going to MOA or Pasay, dun sa ilalim ng kalsada ng EDSA, meron tayong maliit na, na tunnel kung saan kasi yung sasakyan natin. Tayo lang yung dumadaan. You get my point? So, it's almost the same concept for VPN. So, for example, yan yung internet mo, di ba? Dumadaan ka dun sa ISP, pero yung ISP mo hindi nakikita or hindi nababasa kasi nga encrypted yung traffic na dumadaan dun papunta sa site mo. Kasi nga, it goes through a what we call uh, virtual tunnel. Make sense? Very good. So, in the next video, we're gonna talk about these two different types of uh, VPN na common in terms of CCNA. Kasi, uh, there are other types like for example yung mga software VPN ngayon like Nord VPN, Norton VPN and so on pero the concept, the concept is almost the same 
It connects your device, for example, or a certain user to a VPN server para ma-hide natin yung identity or ma-encrypt natin yung traffic that go going from that device to a certain server. Kasi yung, di ba, for example, you use a uh, NordVPN right now. Di ba? And then, ang iyari, yung account mo na NordVPN or yung software, it connects through a Nord VPN server kung saan man yung server na yun. And then, dun sa, sa server nila, there are different locations ng mga servers pa nila. Like, for example, marami silang servers in different continents. Di ba? So, basically, ang iyari is, i-encrypt mo na nila yung connection mo. And then, for example, you are connecting to Facebook. So, hindi ka diretsong kumukonek sa Facebook. Di ba? If you use a NordVPN, ang nangyayari is yung, yung software mo connects through the VPN software, for example, the Nord uh, servers or data centers, for example. And then, si Nord, siya yung pipili kung saan mo gusto or randomly, for example, na server. And then, saka ka pa niya i-coconnect doon sa Facebook. So, ang nangyayari is hindi ka nakikita ng Facebook or ng other companies ng Netflix na diretso yung connection mo from you. It goes through a tunnel first or a secured connection first like for example this one in sa network ni Nord kung saan yun muna yung nakikita niya. That's why yung ibang mga gamers ganyan yung ginagawa, di ba? Okay naman, for example sa Netflix, kapag kami mga palabas, for example na hindi available sa Pilipinas pero available sa ibang bansa, for example sa Europe, you can use a Nord VPN and then ang piliin mong server ni Nord is yung nasa Europe, you will be able to to watch the the Netflix movies na, na hindi available sa Pinas at available sa Europe. Kasi ang nakikita nga ng Netflix server is you are connecting from the Europe. Because yun yung pinili mo on the Nord VPN server. Does that make sense? So basically, hinahide niya yung connections mo and uh, ini-encrypt niya yung traffic. Okay? We're good. Very good. Hey, so... Uh, we're gonna cut this lesson here. I'll see you in the next video wherein we're gonna discuss the different types or the two common types of VPN na makakasalamuhan natin in our CCNA career. So, yun nga yun, yung remote access as well as the site-to-site -site VPN. So, I'll see you there.